Hi, today I'm going to show you how to update your firmware of your Bose Smart Ultra soundbar. Um, the automatic overnight update, you cannot use that to update automatically. Version 4 will not be able to download and install. Version 4 update is only performed via cable or direct IP method. The manual starting, manual starting an update didn't work very well for me. Uh, updating using a computer and USB cable kind of I didn't want it to move the soundbar or left and right connect cables and stuff like that so I went for the direct IP method which I think for most people will work best because there are no wires uh, that you need to use the next thing you want to do is click on that first link and get the uh, software for it it's a big piece of software it's a, around 420 megabytes so wait until the software downloads. Once downloaded, do not unzip the zip file. You're gonna use the whole zip file as it is. The next thing you wanna do is power off, unplug the soundbar, wait 30 seconds and plug it back in. The next thing you wanna do is jump to your Bose app uh, application on your mobile device. Hit the gear wheel up top on the right Go all the way down, hit technical info, now scroll all the way down, you will see your IP address of the soundbar. Now that you have the IP, go to that URL from my notes on the screen and substitute your IP address with your actual IP address. If you entered everything successfully, you're going to see a screen like this, where you can hit the choose file button, go to your computer, choose the file that you've just downloaded remember do not unzip it you want to choose the zip file as it is as you download it from the internet hit choose file and hit update and then the waiting starts once you hit start update you will see an animation on your bar like i'm showing uh right here you see the sliding white light that goes on and on and on and on. The interesting thing is you have to be patient because the update screen will say it will take just a few minutes. It's not going to take just a few minutes. It's going to take about 20 minutes probably, maybe even more, uh, depending uh, what version you're updating to and from and, and so on and so on. The other very interesting thing is you're going to notice that the update will loop or at least seems like it's looping and, and you're like, oh my God, now I have to call the support. Do not do that. Watch carefully the light here. This is the moment that I'm talking about. This is where it restarts and it will do this like four, five, six times. I don't remember how many times it did it. That's why I thought to myself, oh, it's probably stuck now in the update process and uh, I probably uh, have to call support and do some magic, but no, you just have to be patient let it do its thing, go drink a coffee or something like that. I would say if it's more than an hour and it's stuck in this loop, yeah, call support, something is wrong. Mine did it in about, I think, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. Maybe maximum 20 minutes, somewhere there. But since I was expecting just a couple of minutes because the portal was saying like that, uh, I was a little nervous, but no, everything is fine. Just let it do its thing. Once the update is done, the flashing light is going to be gone. There will be no lights there. And on your screen, if you're on the right input, it will say Bose Music. So when you jump to your computer and reload the same URL that you already had, you'll see the new uh, version already will be updated. Mine used to be 2, now it's 4, and so on and so on. So that's all. I hope you uh, learn how to update your firmware, and I hope you don't have any issues uh, about doing it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.